up guys welcome back to my channel or if it's your first time a welcome in general in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i got these super cute short i will call it a bob but it's not technically a bob they're just short box braids y'all i am so in love with these and they're super easy to do so yeah before we get started if you haven't yet make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification symbol because YouTube be playing with views. And so if you want to get notified when I upload, make sure you click that bell. And give this video a thumbs up if you're looking a hot mess like me. Because as you can see, I have no brows. I have nothing. I have nothing. I'm literally about to go on vacation. So that's why I did my hair. And I'm, I literally have to like get in the shower and go. So excuse how I look. But anyway, yes, give this video a thumbs up and without further ado, let's get into it. All right, you guys, so here is my hair almost completely done. I'm just working on the last section. And as always, I'm going to use Shine and Jam to define my root. And then I take it throughout the length of my hair as well. Here I'm just adding some oil to my hair so that it doesn't get dry. Then I'm going to comb it out and start braiding. So I used a Rasta free braiding here and I cut the pack in half. I did not use the full length of the braiding here. I cut it in half and I used about five packs total and I did about 10 braids per pack. So here you see me just braiding the braiding here into my hair. And if you want a more detailed tutorial, I do have a video on how to do box braids that I will link down below. And I also have a video on how to part for box braids. So if you're interested in that, I will also link that down below. So you want to keep in mind the length of your hair because you do not want to end up cutting your hair off. So as I'm braiding, I'm just watching super carefully um, when my hair stops. And when it does stop, I'm just going to braid a little bit past it. And then I'm going to apply my rubber band. So I'm just making sure that it's the right length and then I'm going to wrap the rubber band around. And that's literally it. After this, you just want to go ahead and cut underneath the rubber band. And I actually did that off camera just because I wanted to make for sure, for sure that I was not cutting my hair off. And it's really hard to see in this viewfinder. So I went in the bathroom and cut all of the hair off that was underneath the rubber band. And so after that, I just added some gold clasps and this super cute little piece of jewelry that you just open up and put into your braid and then you want to close it back up. And so also what I did is I did dip my ends in boiling hot water and I didn't dip it too far up because my hair is literally right at the bottom. And that helped to kind of loosen them up a bit, but I also sat in the sauna at the gym and when I took a shower on the first day, I took my shower cap off towards the end so that that steam could get in and loosen the braids up. So yeah, you guys, that is gonna complete this video. I hope that you enjoy. And if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends, family, your hairstylist. If you want this look, show her this video, girl. So yeah, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one.